Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual Mr. Burish here. We're holding Mr. Burish Eli Pays. <coughs> and Emir Tzashem, in this year, we will complete Taf Hey Ahmed Aleph and uh, do a piece of Hey Ahmed Bays as well. So we're holding in Simon Kov Chav Ches. We're in the middle of learning the very interesting halachas of Nesias Kapayim, what we colloquially know as Duchening. So we pick up today on Hey Ahmed Aleph, top line in the Shulchan Aruch, Simen Kuv Chav Ches Sif Tes Vav. So we've gone through the Kaihanim preparing to Duchen, um, washing their hands, getting their hands washed by the Levim, going up to the Duchen. We learned that they have to be Oikar Agleim. They have to leave their place in the Beis Knesses to go up to the Duchen during the Bracha of Ritzay. They have to arrive at the Duchen before the end of Hatayv Shimcha Ulechan Nail Haidais. When they go up to the Aron Kaidish, they go up facing the Aron Kaidish. Um, when the Shachtiber calls out Kai Hanim, that's when they start making the bracha of Asher Kedushan and Shal Aaron. That's when they start. They start turning around by Vitzivanu Levarech Esamo Yisrael Ba'ahava. That's when they turn around. We learned about how they have to lift their arms up level with their shoulders, right hand slightly elevated above the left hand. We learned about how they're supposed to spread out their fingers and position their hands. And um, we learned in finally in Sif Yudalid, um, some of the halachas of the Sif Yudgimel and Sif Yudalid, the halachas of saying the Birches Kaihanim themselves. Let's just remind ourselves that the uh, Mechaber said that the Kehanim make the bracha of Hashem Kedushan and Bekedushan and Shalaren with Sivan and Levar Chesamu Yisrael Ba'ahava, and then the Tzibur says Amen, and then right away the Kehanim start Yivarechecha. According to the Mechaber, there's no need for the Shliach Tzibur to call out Yivarechecha. The Kehanim start right away Yivarechecha. Then the Shliach Tzibur says Hashem. Then the Kehanim say Hashem and the Kahanim repeat after the Shleach Tzibor, Mila Bimila, but not the word Yivarechecha. And the Mishnabur told us the reason the Mechaber says that way is because the Mechaber feels that there's no reason to, for the Shleach Tzibor to call out the word Yivarechecha. The Kahanim know very much that they're starting Brechus Kahanim. The first word is Yivarechecha. They're not going to make a mistake in the word Yivarechecha. The Ramah said no. The Ramah said that the Shleach Tzibor has to call out Yivarechecha as well. I'm mentioning that because it's going to come into play in today's shear as well. Now we come to the end of Berches Kaihanim. So now let's pick up on the top line of Hey and Aleph with Simon Kufcha of Chesif Tesvav says the Mechaber. Now at the end of Berches Kaihanim, so the uh, Kaihanim called out, you know, the Chazan said Shalom, the Kaihanim said Shalom. Everybody else um, said Amen. The Tzibur answered Amen. And now Berkha's Kehanim is over. So what happens next? Says the Mechaber, V'achakach maschil shleach Tzibur sim shalom. Now the shleach Tzibur goes on in the davening, and he starts the final bracha of Chazar Sashatz, the bracha of Hamavar Chesam Yisrael Ba Shalom, that begins with sim shalom. The Oz, and at that point, says the Mechaber, Kaihanim machzirim pineyam lahechal. At this point, the Kaihanim can turn around and they could go back to facing the Aron Kaidish. Vaimrim ribain ha'ilamim. And at this point, the Kaihanim say a short tefillah. What's their tefillah? It begins, says the Mechaber, ribain ha'ilamim, master of the universe. Asinu, we have done mashe gazarta aleinu that which you decreed upon us. The Rabbi Hashem decreed upon the Kahanim that they should perform Berkha's Kahanim, they should bench Klai Yisrael. So the Kahanim at the conclusion of Duchening, they say, Asinu leinu. We have done what you decreed we should do. Now, I say Atta. Now the Kahanim are asking the Rabbi Hashem, I say Atta, now you should do that which you promised us. What is that? 
We asked the Rabbi Shalom, and this is based on a Pasuk, Look down from your holy dwelling place, from the heavens, Yisrael, and bench your nation, Klal Yisrael. So the Kahanim's Tfila is, we did ours. We benched Klal Yisrael. Now, the Rabbi Shalom says in the Psukim by Berches Kahanim, it says, Va'ani avarachem, and I will bench them. So now the Kahanim are saying, we did ours, we benched Klal Yisrael. Now we're asking you, you do yours. Says the Ramah Haga, V'ya'arichu b'tfilazu, the Kahanim should take their time saying this tefillah of Rebbein HaElamim, Ad she Yisayim Shleyatzibur Sim Shalom, until the Chazan finishes the bracha of Sim Shalom, until he says, Baruch Ata Hashem, HaMavarech Esam HaYisrael BaShalom. V'sheyanu HaTzibur Amein Al Shneihem. And now it turns out that when the Tzibur says Amein to, um, to the bracha of HaMavarech Esam HaYisrael BaShalom, they will also be be saying Amen to the tefillah that the Kanem just said of Rebain Ha'olamim. Now, we, we just had very similar to that, right? We had the same concept. Turn the page, please. The same concept at the beginning of Duchening. At the beginning of Duchening, on Dalad Amad Aleph, in Sif Tes, the uh, Mechaber told us that when the Kahanim go up to the Duchen, before they start Duchening, they say a short tefillah. They say, And the Mechaber said, At the beginning of Duchening, when the Kahanim say their short um, prefatory um, tefillah to Duchening, they should lengthen it until the Chazan finishes and when the Tzibur says they'll, the, when the Chazan finishes the Tzibur will answer Amen both to and to the Tefillah of the Kahanim before Duchening. Now over here we have the Kahanim's short tefillah after Duchening, and we want that the Tzibur should say Amen to the Chazan's bracha of Hamavarek Hashem Yisrael Bashalim, and that Amen should also go on the Kahanim's tefillah of Rebbein Ha'ilamim. Continues the Ramah, Vim Einam Yechaylam Laharech Kolkach. Rebbein Ha'ilamim is a short tefillah; it's a lot shorter than Sim Shalim. So the Ramah says, he gives an etzah to the Kaihanim. If you finish Rebayin Ha'ilamim before the Chazan is ready to say, HaMavarech Hasam Yisrael Ba'Shalom, so now there's going to be a delay, V'meinim Yechaylam Laharech Kolkach, Yoyvru Adir Ba'Marim. So then what the Kaihanim should do is, they should say the Pasuk of Adir Ba'Marim. The Pasuk of Adir Ba'Marim is actually what we, the Yisraelim, the Tzibur, this is what we say at the end of Duchening. We say, Adir Bamaraim, Shaychein Bigvura, Ata Shalom Vishimcha Shalom. And then we say, Yiratzein Chitasim Aleinu Akalam Chabes Yisrael Chaim Mubracha Lemishmer Shalom. So the Ramah is saying, you know what? If you, Rabbi Na'ilamim, is too short, so add in Adir Bamaraim. And, and, and finish Adir Bamaraim when the Chazan finishes Hamavar Chesam Yisrael Bashalom. Now let's take a look here at the Mishtabrura. We are up to Mishtabrura Ois Katan Nun Dalad, which is a little bit more than halfway down the first column here on Hayam and Aleph. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Va'imrim Ribayin. So the Kahanim finished Duchening. The Chazin says, Sim Shalom. The Kahanim say their Tefillah of Ribayin Ha'ilamim. And we want them to finish Ribayin Ha'ilamim together with the Shleach Tzibor finishing Hamavarech Hesam Yisrael Ba'Shalom. Says the Mishnah Berurah, there's an interesting, uh, I guess we we'll could say a little bit of a problem with this, when it comes to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Over Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Shem Arichen B'nigunei Hayoyim Ta'amtseinu. You see, on, on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, 
we have extra piyutim, extra tfilois inserted into the bracha of Sim Shalom. One of them is, we have Hayyim Ta'am Tseinu. So we have, if the Chazan is going to be taking his time saying, Hayyim Ta'am Tseinu, Hayyim Tavarecheinu, Hayyim Tegadleinu, Hayyim Tidrasheinu Lotaiva. So then says the Chavetz Chaim, Lo Yaschilu Loima Ribain Ad Lebesayf. Then the Kahanim should delay saying their tefillah of Ribayin Lamim. They shouldn't say it at the beginning of Sim Shalom, because Sim Shalom is very, very long, with all these nigunim and extra piyutim in the middle. So instead, they should wait to say Ribayin Lamim until the end, Kadesh Yisaymu Im HaKahal Ke'echad, so that their Ribayin Lamim should end together with Hamavarek HaSam Yisrael Ba'Shalom. Ice cotton on hay. The Kayanim asked the Rabbi Nishalaylam that the Rabbi Nishalaylam should do Mashihiv Tachtanu, what he promised us. What's the promise? The promise is the Rabbi Nishalaylam said in the Torah Dosha, he said, Shetaskim al Birchasenu. The Rabbi Nishalaylam said that he would agree to the Bracha of the Kayanim. Ukidiksiv, like it says in the Pasuk in Parshas Nasari, Va'ani Avarachem. The Rabbi Nishalaylam says, You Kayanim go bench Kla Yisrael, Va'ani Avarachem, and I will bench them. The Kayhanim say Ribain Ha'ilamim and they seek to finish Ribain Ha'ilamim together with Hamavar Chasam Yisrael Bashalim and the Tzibur will say Amen. O Mistabra the Gama Kayhanim Svit Kemlanis Amen Al Berchas Hashliach Tzibur. The Chavetz Chaim is pointing out that from a simple reading of the words of the Ramah, you don't see that the Kayhanim are responding Amen to Atav Shimcha Lachan El doesn't say that in the Ramah. The Ramah says that the Kayhanim should finish Ribayin Lamim together with Hamavarech Hesama Yisrael Bashalim, and the Tzibur will answer Amen to both. How about the Kayhanim? So the Chavetz Chaim just points out, yeah, the Kayhanim also answer Amen because they also heard the Chazan say Hamavarech Hesama Yisrael Bashalim, and they have to answer Amen to the Bracha of the Chazan. Now there's an interesting little um, ice cotton nun vav with an asterisk. This is going on the Ramah where the Ramah gave the Eitza if if the uh, Kaihanim are not, if they finish Ribayna Ilamim before the Chazid says Hamavar Chasama Yisrael Bashalim. So then the Chavitz Chaim said they should, the Kaihanim should add in Adir Bamarim. And by adding in Adir Bamarim, they should strive to finish. Adir Bamarim together with Hamavar Chasam Yisrael Bashalim. Now we go to Sif Tezayin 246, 246, six lines down from the top in the Shulchan Aruch. It says the Mechaber. Ein HaKaihanim Rashaim Lahachsir Penehem. The Kaihanim may not turn around, right? While they were Duchening, they were facing the Tzibur. They can't turn around to face the Aaron. They have to wait. Now we're going to see, not only can they not turn around until the Chazid says Sim Shalom, they have to stay in position with their arms outstretched, with their fingers spread out. They have to stay in the position of Duchening until the Chazid begins Sim Shalom. When the Chazid begins Sim Shalom, that's when they could close their fingers, put down their arms, and turn around. In the words of the Mechaber, The Kahanim may not turn back around until the Chazan begins to recite Sim Shalom. Nor can they fold their fingers, meaning their fingers still have to be spread out until they turn around. So they can't turn around until the Chazid says Sim Shalom, and they can't close their fingers and put down their arms until they turn around. So they're stuck in position until the Chazid says Sim Shalom. Va'imdim Sham, then, after they turn around and put down their arms and close their fingers, Va'imdim Sham, they stand there by the Duchen in front of the Aaron Kaidish, Ve'enam Rasham Lakar Misham, and they're not allowed to walk away from there. Ad she yisayim shliach tzibur sim shalom until the end of sim shalom. So at the beginning of sim shalom, they could put down their arms, close their fingers, turn around. But now they have to stay there until the end of sim shalom 
which is the conclusion of the bracha, HaMavarech HaSama Yisrael Ba'Sholem. The Yesh Mishaimer and the Mechaber says there are those that say Shetzrich and Lahamtin they have to wait and they can't leave the Duchen Ad She Yisaimu Atzibur Lanais Amen Achar Bircha Sim Shalom. Not only do they have to wait until the Shliach Tzibur finishes Hamavarech Esama Yisrael Ba'Sholem, they have to wait until the Tzibur answers Amen to Hamavarech Esama Yisrael Ba'Sholem. And in the parentheses here, the Ramal says Vechein Haminig, and that is the Minig. The minig is, and we're going to see that that's actually not our minig. Our minig is that the kahanim stay by the duchen even longer. But the mechaber said that the kahanim have to stay by the duchen until the shliach tzibur finishes hamavar chesama yisrael b'shalim. The Ramah said, no, that's not long enough. The Ramah said that they have to stay there until after the tzibur says amen. We're going to see that our minig is they stay longer. Let's take a look here at the mishnah Says the Mishtabura Ice Katan Nunzain. Lachaif etzpai sehem. In the words of the Mechaber, the Mechaber said the Kaihanim cannot turn around until the Chazan says Sim Shalom. And they can't fold their fingers, meaning close their fingers back, until they turn around. Says the Mishtabura, Lachai Vespaisei and Pirish, what that means is, Sheyedeyem Yihiyu Perusais, their hands should be spread out in the position of Duchening, Ad Sheyachziru Penehem, until they fully turn around. Yeah. Ais Kat Nunches, Ve'enam Rasham Lakar, and then we said that they're not allowed to walk away from the duchen. They're not allowed to step away from the duchen until the shleach tzibur says Hamavarech Hasam Yisrael Bashalim. Says the Mishnah is cut in Ches the Yizaru Shalom Yedabru Ad Sheyerdu Miduchanan. Chavetz Chaim says an interesting thing. Chavetz Chaim says the Kohanim should take care not to speak until they leave the duchen. Now, there are those that ask a question over here. Why do we need to say that the Kehanim can't speak until they leave the Duchen? It's in the middle of Chazar Sashatz. You're not supposed to speak in the middle of Chazar Sashatz. They're no different than the rest of the Tibur. And one of the answers that they bring down is even if we're talking about a Kayan who's not davening at this minion, Let's say we have a Kayan who davened at the 7 o'clock minion, and now he's Duchening for a second time at the 9 o'clock minion. He doesn't need the Chazar Sashatz. He already heard Chazar Sashatz. So this Chazar Sashatz is not his Chazar Sashatz. He came for Duchening. Now I'm ready to leave. Maybe he could talk. No. There's a din in Berkas Kaihanim. The Yizaru Shalom Yudabru. The Kaihanim should take care not to speak. Until they go down for the Duchen. Even though they already put down their hands. So you think Duchening is over? No. It's not over. You can't until it's time to leave the Duchen. No talking. And he brings this down from the Eli Rabbah in the name of the Mate Moshe. Ois Katan Nuntes. The Ramah said, no. They, it's not enough to wait until the Shleat Sibur finishes Hamavar Chesam Yisrael Bashalim. The Ramah said that we have, no, I'm sorry, not the Ramah, uh, Nuntes, 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 Nuntes. No, so the, the, the Mechaber said, we have to wait, yeah, it's all a Mechaber. The Mechaber said, I misquoted this earlier, I read it from the Mechaber, but I think I said earlier that this was the Ramah, it's not the Ramah, it's the Mechaber himself, my mistake. The Mechaber said, in his first opinion, the Mechaber said that the Kehanim don't leave the Duchen until the Shlertzibur says, Yisrael Bashalim. Then the Mechaber said, Oimer, there are those that say that the Kehanim have to wait until the Tzibur says, Amen, to Amavar Chesama Yisrael Bashalim. Only then could they leave. Why is that? Says the Chavetz Chaim has cut in the test. Achi Yisayim at Tzibur. No, okay. Achi Yisayim at Tzibur. First, the Chavetz Chaim says when 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 the Mechaber says that they have to wait until the Tzibur says Amen. What does that mean? Says the Chavetz Chaim Hanu Rive at Tzibur. It doesn't mean that the Kahanim have to wait until every last member of the Tzibur says Amen. 
Once a rave of the Tzibur says Amen, that's when the Kehanim already could leave the Duchen. Now, why do they have to wait until after Amen, according to this Yesh Bisha Omer? So it says, the Chavetz Chaim is cut in Samach, the Kaidim Amen, Adayim Eloi Nistayim Habracha. Because we need the Kehanim to wait until the end of the Bracha of Sim Shalim. Now, you might think that the Bracha of Sim Shalim is over as soon as the Chazid says, Hamavarech Hesam Yisrael, Bashalim. Now it's over. Says the Chavetz Chaim, no. There are those that hold that the bracha is not concluded until the Tzibur answers Amen. Amen is the conclusion of the bracha. Bashalim is not the conclusion of the bracha. Amen is the conclusion of the bracha. There is a famous, I'm not sure if it's the Shittas or Rush. This is based on, on Rishayim, that Amen is a chalik of the bracha. I have, I had a, a very chash of an uncle, Rav Moshe Weiss. Many of you are very familiar with my famous cousin from Eretz Yisrael, Rav Asher Weiss, Shlita. So Rav Asher's father, my uncle Rav Moshe, he had a very, very interesting hakpada and in minig. When he came to shul for shachris, he would walk around the shul. In his later years, he was famous for it, so he didn't have to walk around the shul. People came to him. But I remember in the earlier years, he would, especially he was here in America, people didn't know him. He lived, he lived in Eretz Yisrael. So if he was here visiting and I would dive in with him, he would walk around the shul and he would walk over to somebody and ask him, did you say Berches HaShachar yet? And the person would say, no. He was okay, no, Zog, say Berches HaShachar. And he would listen to the person say Berches HaShachar and answer Amen to each one of the Brachas. Why? Because there's a sheet in the Rishonim that Amen is a chalik of the bracha. So it could be that if you said the bracha of Berchas HaShachar, you said a Shenasa Lasech Vivino Lahavka Ben Yom Evein Loila, but if you said it quietly and nobody answered Amen, so maybe there's something lacking from the bracha. You see over here, the bracha is not concluded. Asher Yistayim, the the Kaidim Amen, Adayin Lo Yistayim Abracha. So he wanted to make sure that everybody's Berchas HaShachar had an Amen attached to it. So he would walk around the shul and people would say, and he would answer, Amen, Amen, Amen. People thought that he was doing it just to get the schus of saying Amen. Maybe it was about that too. Amen is a great schus. But he was also doing it to make sure that the person's bracha was a complete bracha. In his later years in Eretz Yisrael, he was famous. He would stay by his seat and, and people would line up to say by him and he would sit there, Amen, 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 Amen. Okay. Continues the Mishnah Brewing here in Ice Cotton Samach. The Akshav, what's our meaning nowadays? When do the Kahanim leave the Duchen? The Akshav, Shahaminig Loimer, like Kahanim, be Yeridosam and Aduchan, Yiyasher. Now there's a meaning that many people have, very nice meaning. I saw Rav Moshe Zechazan of Kashal Racha be Makpit on this all the time. That when the Kahanim come down from the Duchen, people thank the Kahanim. For the bracha, the Kahanim come down, people say, Shkayach Kayin, Shkayach Kayin. What is this word, Shkayach? There's no such word, Shkayach. It's an abbreviation. It's Yiyasher Kaychacha. Your, your strength, Yiyasher means it should be straight. I think what it really means is Yiyasher, that your Kayach should be used in a straight way. But Yiyasher Kaychacha, people have abbreviated it and shortened it into Shkayach. But people say, Shkayach Kayin, Shkayach Kayin, Shkayach Kayin. So says the Chavetz Chaim, Va'akshav shen aminig loyma l'kehanim b'yiridasam and aduchin yiyasher. Now that there's a minig to thank the kehanim when they come down from the duchin, may hanochayin, it would be proper, shalo yerdu a kehanim may aduchin, that the kehanim should not come down from the duchin, ad la'acher she yisayim ha'shner tzibur kaddish. Says the Chavetz Chaim, the kehanim shouldn't leave the duchin until after Kaddish, after Chazar Sashatz. Why? Says the Chavetz Chaim, if the Kehanim are going to leave right after the Amen of Hamavar Chesama Yisrael Bashalim, what's going to happen? They're going to walk away from the Aaron Kaddish after that Amen. Everyone's going to line up and they're going to be busy saying Shkayach Kayin, Shkayach Kayin, Shkayach Kayin. Meantime, the Shliat Sibur is saying Kaddish Shalem. And nobody's paying attention to the Kaddish Shalem 
of the of the Shlich Tzibur. No one's answering Amen to Yisgal of Yisgal Shmei Rabba. No one's answering Amen Yehei Shmei Rabba because they're busy saying Shkoyach Koyin, Shkoyach Koyin, Shkoyach Koyin. So instead, says the Chavetz Chaim, the Kohanim should stay up by the Duchen until after Kaddish Shalem. And only then should they come down and only then th- should the Shkoyachs start so not to be Mafsid the Kaddish. Okay, now we go to Sif Yud Zion here in the Mechaber 246, two, four, six lines off the bottom in the Shulchan Aruch. Says the Mechaber. When the Kahanim turn around, Bain Batchila, whether we're talking about when the Kahanim turn around in the beginning of Berchus Kahanim, <coughs> when they had been facing the Aaron. And now they want to turn around to face the tzibur, bein basoif, or whether we're talking about the end of duchening, where they were facing the tzibur and now they're turning around to face the aron. By both of them, kishem achzirin peneim. When the kahanim turn around, bein batkila, bein basoif, both in the beginning of duchening and at the end of duchening, lo yachziru. They should not turn el derech yamin. They should make sure to turn to the right. Okay, very interesting Mishnabura. The Mishnabura over here goes into great detail to describe turning around to the right. It's very interesting to me that, that the, the Chavetz Chaim wrote so many lines of Mishnabura to describe this, but the Chavetz Chaim did not waste words. So apparently this was very necessary. Let's take a look here at the Mishnabura's cut in Samachalaf. Bain Batchila Ben Basaif. Whether we're talking about the beginning of Duchening or the end of Duchening, when the Kehanim turn around, they should turn to the right. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Pirish Batchila. What does the Makara mean when he says at the beginning? He means, Kishael and Leduchan, when the Kehanim went up to the Duchen before Berchus Kehanim, Upeneim Klape Ahechal, and at that point they're standing facing the Aaron Kaidish. The Hechal is the Aaron Kaidish. Shehu Bamizrach. Generally speaking, in our regions, the Aron Kaidish is on the Mizrach, it's in the east. So the Kaihana went up to the Duchen, and they're standing facing the Aron Kaidish. So they're facing Mizrach, they're facing east. V'kairin lahem Kaihanim, and then the Chazid called out, Kaihanim, and now they have to turn around to face the Tzibur. Maschilin lahaxer peneim klape ha'om, now they should start to turn around to face the tzibur. Now, they're standing facing east. If you're standing facing east, so the north is to your left, south is to your right. Now, you could turn in one of two directions. You could turn to your left, which would mean that you're turning to the north. You're facing east. You turn to the north. And then you keep on turning around until you're facing west. You could do that. Or you could turn to your right. If you turn to your right, so you're facing east, to your right is south. So you're going to turn from facing east to facing south. And then you're going to turn all the way around to facing west. Which way should you go? So the Mechaber said you turn to your right. So the Mishnah says, what does that mean? What that means is, Maschilin lahachse p'neim klape ya'om. They should turn to face the people, to face the tzibur. Litzad yamin shelahem. They should turn to their right, shahu b'daroim, which means that they're going to turn initially to the south. Va'achakach l'mayrev. And then they're going to complete the 180 degree turn and turn to the west, neged ha so that they're facing the tzibur. Uba soif, that was at the beginning of duchening. Uba soif, and at the end of duchening, Right? Now at the end of Duchening, we just learned that the Kehanim are going to turn back around to face the Yard Kaidish when the Chazid says Sim Shalom. So Ubasaif at the end of Duchening, Sim Shalom, when the Chazid starts to say Sim Shalom, Umachzirin Pnei Klape Kaidish, and now they're going to turn around again to face the Hechel, to face the Yard Kaidish, you have the same thing. Maschilin Lahachzer Penehem Derech Yamin. Now, when they're standing facing the Tzibur, that means that they're facing west. When they're facing west, now north is to their right, 
and south uh, and and um, south is to their left. Which way should they turn? They should turn again to their right. So again, they should start turning around to their right, which means that initially they're going to turn to the north. And then they're going to complete the 180 turn to face east again, to the Aron Kodesh. So in great detail, the Mishnah describes the Kaihanim turning around before Duchening, the Kaihanim turning around after Duchening. In both cases, they should turn to their right. Says the Chavetz Chaim, when the Kaihanim come down from the Duchen, after they turned around, they turned around, now it's already after Kaddish Shalem, and now they have to step away from the Aron Kaddish. Says the Mishnah They shouldn't just turn their backs to the Aron Kaddish. They should turn to the side. V'yachziru p'neim k'tzas l'heichel, so that they're still facing the heichel a little bit. K'talmud haniftem erabai, this is like a Talmud who is leaving his Rebbe, sh'machzir panav elav b'tesa milofanav, he turns his head away from him while he's leaving him, but he doesn't just turn his back. So the kaihanim, they're, they're leaving the Yara Kaidish, they should just turn around and walk away. They should turn partially and step back sideways, kind of, so that they don't just turn their backs to the Eichel, just turn their backs to the Arun Kaitish. Okay. Now let's continue over here in Sif Yud Zayin. We're up to the words of the Ramah, two, four, five, five lines off the bottom, near the beginning of the line, Haga, says the Ramah. Kishayar din min aduchan, when the Kahanim come down from the Duchan, so let's remember, they took off their shoes before they went up to do Berkas Kehanim. You remember why they took off their shoes? They took off their shoes when they went up to the Duchen because maybe somebody will have an untied shoelace. Someone's going to have an untied shoelace. That's Derek Bezoyan. He People might laugh at him or he might think people are laughing at him. He might bend down to tie his shoes. Someone's going to say, oh, you know what he's doing? He's bending down and he's not really making the bracha of Berkas Kehanim because he's a kind pogum. Maybe he's a cholol or something. So, for, to save that problem, Chazal said, Kahanim Duchen, they take off their shoes before Duchen. But now it's after Duchen, they come down for the Duchen, they got to put their shoes back on. Now, let's remember, you're still a middle of davening. You have Enkelikeinu, Aleinu, Diyayim, Adam Zmiris. There's still plenty to say. So, says the Ramah, Kishiyardim and Aduchen, when they come down for the Duchen, Lo yigu bimin haleim hametunofim. They should not touch their shoes which are considered dirty. I'm choosing my words carefully here. Uh, because the words of the Ramah are, hametunafim. They shouldn't touch their dirty shoes. And what if the shoes are clean? So, I mean, if you take a look right away at the Be'er Hetev, Ois Katan Lamed, the Be'er Hetev says, hametunafim adin kishehim nikim. It doesn't make a difference even if the shoes are clean. Like it says earlier in Simon Dalad Sif Yud Ches, over there it says that you have to wash your hands after touching your shoes. It doesn't say over there that you have to touch your hands. It says you have to wash your hands after removing your shoes. And the reason is because when you remove your shoes, you touch your shoes with your hands. Um, so it, it says over there, it doesn't say over there in Sif Dalad that this halacha only applies if your shoes are dirty. It says a stam lotion, right? It's simon dalid, simon dalid, simon dalid, simon dalid, simon dalid, sif, simon dalid, sif yud ches. Simon dalid, sif yud ches. The Mechavi says, Elu dvarim tzvichim netila bamayim. These are the things that require you to wash your hands in water. And one of them is well, page troubles today. One of them is the hachoylets min olav. Somebody who takes off his shoes. And the Mishnah Bura says, Mishum shenei ge'a b'yodav be'is Because he touches his shoes with his hands when he takes the shoes off. Ava b'loy nagabem. If you don't touch the shoes, ain't tzarech netila. But it doesn't say over here in the Mechaber, min olav mitunafim. 
It doesn't say it's a problem if you take off dirty shoes. It just says if you take off your shoes. If you take off your shoes, you have to wash your hands. So the implication is, it doesn't matter if they're clean or if they're dirty. So again, let's go back here into the words of the Ramah. They shouldn't touch their shoes, which are considered dirty. If they do touch their shoes, they have to wash their hands for any davening that they want to continue to daven, they're going to have to wash their hands. The words of the Ramah were dirty shoes. The Chavaz Chaim says, it seems to me, this is what it really means. Stam minolim, stam shoes, kibit to are like they're dirty. And he brings this down from Niel Yoraba, the Prima Gondam. Mishnabura does leave, I think, a little room here for interpretation that if you know for a fact that the shoes are clean, then maybe you take it off to wash your hands. Okay, now we go to Sif Yud Ches. Interesting Sif, Sif Yud Ches. It's really a, a, a complex Sif. It's, it's, it's deceptively complex, this Sif. And... <laughs> I'm not going to go into it as deep as, as there is to go into it. We're going to do it on, on you know, a more basic level. But it's a, a sneaky sif, this sif. Says the Mechaber. At the beginning of Duchening, we learned, the Shliach Tzibur calls out, Kayanim. Now let's remember, we had a shtikel machlaikis, the Mechaber and the Ramah. The Mechaber said that the Shliach Tzibur, when this Duchening, does not say the tefillah of Elikeinu of Elikeinu According to the Mechaber, the way Duchenig works is, the Chazit says, Hatayv Shimcha Lachan El the Tzibur says, Amen. Right away, the, the Chazit calls out, Kayanim, and then everybody says, Am Kedosh Echa Ka'amur, and then, and then, according to the Mechaber, the Kayanim say, Yivarech Echa, then the Chazit says, Hashem, According to the Ramah, there's a difference. According to the Ramah, the Chazid says, The Tzibur says, Amen. The Chazid says quietly, And then he says quietly, And then he calls out, Well, then there's, the bracha of Baruch Hashem, Al Kedem Elach Olam, Hashem Kedushalim Kedushas Shalaren, etc., etc. Right, but again, the key, the key difference between the Mechaber and the Ramah that I'm highlighting over here is whether or not you say Al Kedem Elach Al Kedem Eisenu or not. That's going to come into play over here. But in any case, Duchening begins kind of with the Shlach Tzibur calling out Kayanim. Says the Mechaber here in Sif Yudches. Ein hamakre shekayre kayanim. The shliach tzibur is going to call out kayanim. He cannot call out kayanim. Ein hamakre shekayre kayanim. Rashoi likrais kayanim. He may not call out kayanim. Ad she yichle mi piat tzibur amen shainim akar berchas moidim. Right. The chazit said at time shimcha lechan elahaydos. The tzibur has to answer amen. Says the mechaber. The, the Chazan should not call out Kayhanim until after the Tzibur finished saying Amen. Now, this concern only applies according to the Mechaber. According to the Mechaber, the very next thing after the Amen to Atav Shimcha Lachan Elohidais is the Chazan calling out Kayhanim. Says the Mechaber, don't call out Kayhanim until the Tzibur finished saying Amen. According to the Ramah, it's not really Negea, because according to the Ramah, the, the Chazid says, The Tzibur says, Amen. Then the Chazid says to himself, etc., etc. So yeah, he's not going to say Kayanim until the Tzibur finishes saying Amen, because he's got to say, anyway. So this halacha that opens up Sif Yud Ches, is the gate to the sheet of Samachaber? It's not the gate to the sheet of Sarama. Again, let's see it inside. Ain a makri shikar kahanim rashoy likris kahanim at sheyichlem ipiatzibur amen shayin a makar berchis kmaidim. Don't call out kahanim until the tzibur finishes 
saying Amen to our Tov Shimcha Ulecha Noe Lahoidois. Says the Mishnahis Katan Sam Gimel, Likris Kahanama Chiyechle, Zelufi Dam of Oresla El Besif Yud. This is according to the Shita that we learned earlier in Sif Yud. To be Mekamish and Nisit Kapeim, that when you have Duchening, Ain Oimre Malakane Vilakeva Sena Barcheda Barbracha. The Shita Samachaber. El Tech of Akasi and Berkas Mindem Kariashli at Sibra Kayanim. According to the Shita Samachaber, right after our Tim Shimakala Khan Elohidis, the Chazm calls out Kayanim. Ava Lafimin Ogenu. But according to us who follow the Shita Sarama, Shetamin Ashli at Sima Omer Lakanu Vilakavi Senu, that the Chazit says Alikanu Vilakavi Senu, Kamashakasa for Ramasham, Lanshaik Kal Dinze. This Halak is not the Gaya. Because, yeah, there's going to be a delay between the Amen and calling out Kayanim, because the Chaz has got to say, etc., etc. The Mechaber said the Shliatzibur should not call out Kayanim until Achayichle mi Piatzibur Amen. Until Amen is out of the mouths of the Tzibur. Says the Chavetz Chaim, now he's cut in Samach Talad, Hainu Roiv HaTzibur. Now this is very important. In this case, Benegea to this halacha, the Chazan only has to wait until Roiv of the Tzibur has finished saying Amen. Now, let's remember, why does the Shleach Tzibur call out Kayanim? We learnt the reason is because the Kayanim, they have a mitzvah say to bench Kla Yisrael. But they cannot do their mitzvah say to bench Kla Yisrael until they are instructed to do so. We learnt this out for the Pasuk because the Pasuk says, Kaisavarko es bene Yisrael, Amar lahem. You need to say to them to bench Kla Yisrael. So the Kayanim can't go up to the Duchen and start doing Berchus Kayanim if they weren't instructed to do so. So the Kayanim is not only part of a ceremony. It's not only like a ceremonious Kayanim. No, it's a critical part of Berchus Kayanim. The Chazin is the Shliach Tzibur. He is the Shliach of the Tzibur who is fulfilling Amar Lahem, who's instructed the Kayanim to do their duty and bench Klai Yisrael. He's not doing it on his own. He's a Shliach Tzibur. Now, if the Tzibur is busy saying Amen to our Toiv Shimcha Lachan Elohidois, then the Tzibur is not up to Berchus Kayanim. The Tzibur is saying Amen to a Bracha of our Toiv Shimcha Lachan Elohidois. The Chazim can't turn around and say Kayanim on behalf of the Tzibur. So the Kayan, the, the Chazim has to wait until Rav of the Tzibur finished saying Amen. Rav of the Tzibur finished saying Amen. Fine. Now, on behalf of the Tzibur, I'm calling out Kayanim. Okay. So that's halacha number one. Now let's go to halacha number two here in Sif Yud Ches. So we're the, the one, two, three, three lines off the bottom in the Shechon Aruch, near the end of the line. Halacha number two. Ve'ein ha-kayhanim rashoyim lahaskil berchas asher kedishanu b'kedushas ha'ishal aron. The Kayanim cannot jump the gun and start making the bracha on Berchus Kayanim ad she yichle dibur kriyas Kayanim ipiakayre. They don't have the right to do it until they were instructed to do so. So, you know, they can't uh, false start of game as a five-yard penalty. They can't go ahead and start saying Baruch before the Chazan finished saying Kayanim. The Chazan has to call out Kayanim when that's finished. Now they've been instructed, Amar Lahem. Now they can make the bracha, Barakat Hashem Lekeinu Melech Ha'elam, Asheh Kedushan 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 But they can't jump the gun and do it too early. That's halacha number two. Halacha number three. Two lines off the bottom, near the end of the line. Va'acha she berchu ha'kayhanam Asheh Kedushan 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 Once they finished making the bracha, so they said, Levarech Esamo Yisrael, Ahava. What's next? According to the Mechaber, now the Kayhanim say, Yivarechecha. Right? According to the Mechaber, the Shleach Tzibur doesn't call out Yivarechecha. The Shleach Tzibur only starts calling out Mila Bemila with the word Hashem. But Yivarechecha, he doesn't call out. So Halakha number three, which is according to Shita Samachaber, says the Mechaber, 
after the Kaihanim finished the bracha on Berchus Kaihanim, and now they're ready to say Yivarechecha, Enam Rashoim Lahaskel Yivarechecha, they cannot say Yivarechecha, Ad She Yichle Mi Pi Kol Hatzibar Amen, Shoinam Aka Berchas Hashek in the Shadim in the Shadim in the Shadim. They can't say Yivarechecha until everybody in the Tzibur, not Roiv HaTzibur. Over here, the Mechabit says, Mi Pikol HaTzibur. Until every last person in the Tzibur finished saying Amen to the Bracha of Berches Kahanim. Why is that? The reason for that is because everybody in the Tzibur has a Chiv to hear Berches Kahanim. We said that there's a dual Mitzvah Saseh. The Kahanim of a Mitzvah Saseh to do Berches Kahanim we have a mitzvah say to hear berches kahanim, to receive the bracha. So if there's one guy in the shul who's saying a very lengthy amen, he's being myrich in amen, yoiser midai, he's going too long saying amen, you gotta wait for him. Because he also needs to hear yivarechecha, and he's busy saying amen. Says the Mishnabur over here, ois kot in samachay, mi pikol hatzibur. Over here, the entire tzibur needs to finish saying Amen to the bracha of Brichus Kaihanim before the Kaihanim could start Brichus Kaihanim. Because there's a chiv on everybody to hear the Brichus Kaihanim from the Kaihanim. on everybody to hear the Brichus Kaihanim from the Kaihanim. And that's why the Mechaber was very precise over here because of Kol HaTzibur. Over here, he says you have to wait until the entire tzibur finishes saying amen. Lahayra is to teach us the afim yesh ksasa nashim shetoyin. Even if there are some people who are making a mistake, um arichin ba amen yosemidai, and they're stretching out amen too long. Sarach lahamtin gamalayim. You have to wait for them too. Levish achiv hu al kulam l'shmaya because everybody in the tzibur has a chiv to hear the words of brachas kainim. The chal zehu l'shita samachaber le'el b'sif yud gimel, but this negaya, this is only negaya according to the shita samachaber that the chazan doesn't call out yivarechicha. She pasak dein a chazan makre tevis yivarechicha. Va'akein sarek lahazar kaihanim. So that's why we have to tell the kaihanim bahas chalos ham yivarechicha that when they they finished the bracha of berachas kaihanim, they're ready to say yivarechicha. Because the Chazan doesn't say Yivarechecha, so we're telling the Kahanim, don't jump the gun. Wait until everybody finishes saying Amen until you say Yivarechecha. Avaludi done. But according to our meaning, Shahachazin Makre Gam Tevis Yivarechecha, that the Chazan does say Yivarechecha out loud, Yesh Hazara Ala Chazan Shaliyaskal Hakri Satevis Shivarechecha, so then we gotta tell the Chazan that he shouldn't say Yivarechecha, Kaidim. She simu al kol panim roiv hatzibur amen. The chazan doesn't have to wait for kol hatzibur to say yivarechicha because there's no chiv on the tzibur to hear yivarechicha from the chazan. The chiv on the tzibur to hear yivarechicha is from the kayanim, not from the chazan. You still gotta wait for roiv hatzibur because you're still a shliach tzibur and you're doing brachas kayanim with the kayanim on behalf of the tzibur. If roiv hatzibur is still saying amen to the bracha of Brichus Kaihanim, then you have a chazan, you as a chazan, as a shliach tzibur, have no right to start Yivarechecha. You gotta wait for Roy Vatzibur, but you only gotta wait for Roy Vatzibur, you don't gotta wait for Kol Vatzibur. Va'achar shesiyam ha-chazan is hateva, and once the chazan finishes Yivarechecha, by that time, of course, everybody's finished saying Amen. Az mutar na kahanim lahaskel Yivarechecha, now the kahanim could start Yivarechecha. I'm going weiter, even though it's it's a little bit lengthy already. Let's finish this sif. Now we're up to halacha number, I think this is halacha number four in this sif. The first halacha that the, you can't call out kayanim until everybody finish, until Roy Vatsibur finishes the amen to atayv shimcha lachan The second halacha was the kayan can't, the kayanim can't start the brach of berches kayanim until the chazan finishes saying kayanim. Halacha number three was the one that we just did, that the the, the Kahanim should not start Yivarechecha until everybody finishes saying Amen to the Bracha of Brichas Kayanim. Now we're on Hey Amid Bez, top line near the end of the line. Halacha number four. The Chain, Einam Rashayim Lahaschil Beteva, the Kayanim should not start any word at Yetich Lahateva Mipi Hamakra. So let's say Yo'er. 
the Kaihanim shouldn't jump the gun and start saying Ya'er while the Chazan is still saying Ya'er. You know why? Because the Tzibor has a chiv to hear Ya'er and every other word of Rechaz Kayanim from the Kayanim. If they're going to say it while the Chazan is still saying Ya'er, people aren't going to hear it. So the Chayin Enim Rasham Lascha Bateva Chetikla Teva Mipi Hamakra says the Mishtabura Ois Katan Samach Zayin. Uh, no, we didn't do Samach Vav. Amen. Shaina Makra Brichas Vehu Adin Shaina Rasha Kari Lahaskel Yair Yisad Sheyichla Amen Mipiat Zibur. The Chavetz Chaim is pointing out in, in Ois Katan Samach Vav that the Chazan should not say Yair until the Zibur finished saying Amen. To the Yishmarecha. Likewise, the Chazid should not call out Yisa until the Tzibur finished saying Amen to the Yichunecha. The Kehanim shouldn't say a word of Brechus Kehanim until the Chazid finished saying that word. So that the Tzibur should hear it well from the Kehanim. It shouldn't be that the Tzibur is hearing, let's say, Yo'er, a mix between the Chazan and the Kayanim. So the Kayanim have to be careful. Wait until the Chazan finishes. Ois katan samachches mipi amakre v'nirid dehu adin shah makre lo yaskel akres teva acheres ad she yisamu a Kayanim a teva shalofanea. Same when it goes to the Chazan. If the Kayanim are in the middle of saying Yo'er, the Chazan shouldn't start saying Hashem because then there are people who aren't going to hear Yo'er clearly from the Kayanim. Okay, finally, says the Mechaber, second line down, the middle of the line, the Einat Tzibur Einin Amen, the Tzibur should not respond with Amen to Berches Kehanim, ad she tichle bracha mi piya Kehanim. If the, when the Kehanim say, v'yishmerecha, don't start saying Amen in the middle of v'yishmerecha. Now we generally don't have, well we do have that problem, even though we say the Rabbani Shalolims, they don't call out v'yishmerecha until after we finish saying the tefillah of Rabbani Shalolim. So don't say Amen while the Kayanim are in the middle of saying v'yishmerecha. This is not a din that's that's just in Berches Kayanim. You're never supposed to say Amen to a bracha until the Mavarich finishes saying the bracha. Ice cotton. Okay, no, now we go to the Ramah. The final halacha of Sif Yud Ches says the Ramah three lines down. Haga, velo yaschilo akihanim ribayin ha'ilamin. This is fascinating. And this is, is, there's a lot of words written on this Ramah. It's a puzzling Ramah. Um, we said that at the end of Berches Kayanim, what happens at the end of Berches Kayanim? The Chazan says, Shalom. The Kahanim say, Shalom. Now everybody says, Amen. Now the Chazan starts saying, Sim Shalom. And the Kahanim say, Rebain Ha'ilamim. They say, they feel of Rebain Ha'ilamim. Says the Ramah, V'lo yaschilu ha'kahanim Rebain Ha'ilamim. The Kahanim should not start saying, Rebain Ha'ilamim. Ad she'yichlo Amen mi piyat tzibur. Until the tzibur finishes saying, Amen to Shalom. Okay. Says the Mishnah Bura is cut an iron. Hachrayin pikpiku v'hagazu. The Hachrayinim have a lot of trouble with this Ramah, understanding this Ramah. Delay mishkakasle. There doesn't seem to be any room for this halacha. The Hachray ain't maschil loymer ribay noilamim. When did the Kahanim say ribay noilamim? The Kahanim start saying ribay noilamim when the Shlich Sibur start saying Sim Shalom. And they don't and, and they can't say it until they turn around. They don't turn around. The Kahanim turn around when the Chazid starts saying Sim Shalom. They start saying Ribbainalamim after they finish turning around. So picture this, right? Duchening is over. The, the Chazid is saying Sim Shalom. In the meantime, the Kahanim are turning around. They're not ready to start saying Rebainai Lamim until the Shlech Tzibur is already saying Sim Shalom Tevo Vracha. By that time, the Tzibur finished saying Amen to Shalom. So the Mishnah Bura just points out over here that the Akrainim have a lot of trouble with understanding this Ramah. And to understand this Ramah properly, you really have to open up a Shlech Aruch and you have to look at the Magan Avram over here on this sif, together with the Machtsa Shekel, 
and together with a Bach, and then you could start to understand it. I don't have time to go into it now. We're already over time. We'll see. Maybe the opportunity will prevent, present itself for a little bit of a shtickle tire on this. All right? I'm happy we got to this point. Thank you so much for joining me for Leaving Our Tire. This list of Leaving Our Tire Megan and Gans Klai Yisrael. The Rosh Hashem should send Yeshua Sefer's Panos to all those in need and Shaduchim. And we should be zeichet to see the BS Girl Tzedek. Be meherav Yamenu Amen. Be well.